Well, let's bring in Asma Wadud, who's a current affairs analyst. She's joining me now live from Islamabad. Thank you very much for joining us on the news hour. So he has been released now. Will this solve the political crisis going on or will it make it perhaps even worse? Actually, this is an opportunity to solve this political crisis. Um, the ultimate solution of this political crisis is a free and fair election. This is the people demanding their democratic right to vote and select and elect their rulers. They're not actually uh, asking anything impossible. It's just according to the democratic norm. But they are making it so difficult and they are uh, resisting it so much that this chaos, that which led to this chaos. So it is it is resolvable. There is a solution. There is a way to uh, to uh, preserve the constitution. There is a way to avert which is happening. There is a way to take out military out of this whole political chaos. Just resolve it democratically. Just go to election. Just let the people decide. That is a simple solution. That is what is actually uh, actually people are asking. And the more you there is one like uh, some little thing that they are failing to address is that. Imran Khan is a political reality. He, he is one of the biggest uh, leaders in Pakistan. He is the, actually the only leader that has uh, voters in the length and breadth of Pakistan. And the people want their, their uh, right uh, to uh, elect him if they want. Just go to the polls. Let the people decide his democratic uh, political value. If he wins, he'll be back. If he don't, he'll be out. But there is uh, the, the more they resist, this democratic in uh, this uh, democratic solution this chaos will magnify and it magnify in multiple folds and the situation is becoming critical with every passing second yeah, uh, if tomorrow uh, imran khan is uh, uh, um, uh, it gets a, a bail or a, uh, is allowed to go and he proceeds uh, to uh, towards his uh, election campaign that was planned already so he they will be again very anxious and uh, uh, very uh, uneasy with the whole situation. The government. And what's been and the, the and what's been the political the, reaction, and, if if I may, if I okay. may, what 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 has been the political reaction from the political elites as to his release? Frankly, some of them who want him to go away. Actually, uh, the the political elites don't actually matter. The thing is that he, Imran Khan, is the person who is challenging the political elites, who, who is challenging the dynastic uh, uh, democratic, democracy flag bearers. He is actually challenging the whole system. They, they are uneasy with his presence. It is very critical for them to either curb, convince, or curtail him. And this is their, actually the primary focus because he is challenging almost everything that is Pakistan has been living through in the past 75 years. And this is what is happening. This is what is making uh, the political elite and um, the whole mechanism anxious. This is what is making them uneasy because he, he, he is challenging them and his narrative is getting penetrated um, very deeply among the people. They believe him. They trust him. They are ready to sacrifice almost everything in the optics that we have seen yesterday. Unprecedented and where does the army history. stand in all of this? Can I just ask you about the army? Where do they stand in all of this? They stayed on the sidelines, but clearly they must be watching this situation and, and worried about where it might go next. Actually, this is very unfortunate. Army should never have been in this uh, situation. Um, actually, uh, if you put uh, two, plus two, four, or 2 plus 2 together after the press release, uh, Imran Khan's arrest was in the air for a very long time. They were trying and they were backing off. They were trying and they were backing off. But after the ISPR press release, they have um, um, uh, maneuvered it very ab abruptly, the government. See, <clears throat> what we have seen, um, FC arresting uh, Imran Khan from the court premises, uh, FC is not actually a part of it is under interior ministry. So it is the government maneuver. You cannot exempt, from, exempt them from the whole situation. It was not actually the army maneuvering the whole thing. But they were put in the deep waters. They were put in the middle of the crossfire. They were. They should have never have been there. Military law okay, in Asma, Pakistan's what politics <laughs> point of discussion, okay. but it was never in Pakistan. But this time it is few audio issues there, but Asma would I think we got the, the, the most of that. Thank you very much for joining us live from Islamabad. <laughs>